everybody, Jacqueline Bayer here. So as an artist, especially with mediums, like art mediums that I'm really comfortable with, like gouache, I feel like I can put a lot of pressure on myself and be a little bit more critical of my work. Now, don't get me wrong, gouache is one of my favorite mediums to work with, but it almost comes with a certain mindset and expectation. So as you might know from my other YouTube videos, Last spring, I started working on my graphite botanical floral studies. And I did this because I wanted to be a lazy artist. An artist with no ambitions, no goals, no expectations. I wanted to set aside time to create art for the sake of creating. And over time, it became my lazy artist routine, which actually it wasn't really that lazy because it ended up helping my headspace, my creativity, and it helped me improve my paintings, like my gouache painting. So I actually learned a lot through this lazy artist routine. But what is a lazy artist routine? A lazy artist routine is making a routine or a consistent practice of creating art with a new medium, something that you're, you never used, you're not particularly good with. And by doing this, where you set no expectations to improve or create anything of significant value. Pieces you may never even show anyone, share online, like you're just creating art for the sake of creating. And I noticed some huge benefits to doing this. One, it was easy for me to just sit down and start creating these floral studies. I was never nervous to get started because I had my pad of paper there, I had my pencil, my pencil sharpener, my book that I like to use as a reference, it was just so easy to just sit on the couch and just create. And I didn't feel like I had to set aside time specifically for this, like a whole afternoon. It was just casual. If I knew I was just going to be lazy and just sit on the couch and watch a movie or a show, I just started drawing because it was right there. I just, it was really, really easy to just do. I didn't have to think, I just started sketching. This was just for me, and I didn't have any expectations of the work that I was creating. I noticed that I was improving quickly because I hadn't set any expectations, I wasn't nervous to get started, and I ended up just sketching a lot. Sitting on the couch or even my balcony, I would put on a cozy movie, I'd play some nice music, and I realized that I was just sitting there sketching for hours, sometimes only 20 minutes, but other times just for hours. Like I, I didn't know where the time went because I got so in the flow with just sketching because of how easy I had set this lazy artist routine up. And all that time added up and I noticed that my graphite skills, my drawing skills were really improving. Overall, I think it was a great exercise that helped me care less about the outcome and care more about the process and being in my artist flow, which really helped me be able to focus and create just a lot faster than putting it off too much. Just getting in there, getting in my flow, it just really, really helped. So how can you start your lazy artist routine? So number one, choose a medium that's really easy, like graphite, pencils, or watercolor, or perhaps you have some unused art supplies around your home that you could use, it's really good to just use what you have. Number two in starting your lazy artist routine is to have those supplies easily accessible. Put it on your coffee table, put it on your desk, have it somewhere that you're going to notice more often and see it. If you have animals or kids or something, you could always put your art stuff in a little box or something, but still have it seen and visible so you can see it and it'll just become part of your routine of noticing it, seeing it, sitting down, starting to start draw, painting, whatever medium you choose. Another tip is trying to incorporate this practice into a cozy routine that you already have. You could like curling up to watch a movie or a TV show. It could be right after you read a couple chapters in your book or when you're winding down in the evening and maybe you've put the kids to bed or something or it's just your nice evening routine that you have, you could incorporate it in there or in the morning if that's better for you as you're waiting on your coffee to brew or something. Just have your little sketch pad, 
sketch a little bit, sketch your coffee cup that's being brewed, you know, right then. Just try to incorporate it into a cozy way and then you're going to start associating that with being cozy. And start small. Try not to make this be a huge commitment because I don't want to put more work on you when this is supposed to be like a nice, calming, cozy practice of your everyday routine, your every week routine. So start small in whatever capacity that you can. Over the weeks of your new lazy art routine, make sure you're not putting expectations or extra pressure on yourself. The whole goal of this is to practice, not the outcome. So I hope that this new lazy artist routine that you're going to be building really helps you just feel cozy and calm. And in the meantime, you're also going to be improving your artwork. It may take weeks, months, years to get to a point that maybe you're satisfied with. Again, I started a year and many months ago doing this, of doing my graphite drawings of flowers. and. I recently looked at all of them and I was like, wow, I've, I've really improved on all of this. So just give yourself some grace, give yourself like the flexibility of it, start small and just get out there and just start creating. And if any of you already have a lazy artist routine or something similar to this, I would love to hear from you. So write down in the comments what you like to do, how you like to start small. Maybe you've seen an improvement on your art that you've created. Give me tips as well that I can add to my own routine. Um, I love doing it on my couch or out on my little balcony in the morning when it's not too hot in the afternoon or rainy because you may have heard some thunder as I've been recording this. I hope this helped you. I'm so excited to hear from you and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.